Many apps are built around dynamic lists. Items are added, removed and changed all the time. Without animation, this can be jarring and confusing. Why did everything jump? What just happened? Animated list provides an easy way to animate uh, lists. Start by providing an item builder. This is a function that will be called for every index of the list, so you can construct each item. You also get an animation which automatically starts when the item is added and which you can use to animate the item in. Your animation can be anything. Unless your list starts empty, you will also want to provide the initial item count. Now you need to tell animated list whenever there is anything added or removed from the underlying data structure. To do this, you call methods on the animated list state. This class has the methods insert item and removed item. How to get hold of animated list state though? There are two methods. When you want to initiate an animation from inside the list code, from inside one of the items, you can use animatedList.offContext. From anywhere else, use a global key. Attach it to the animated list widget, and now you can call insert item, remove item from anywhere. Let's have a look at those methods. With insert item, you tell animated list that there is a new item at index and that it should start the animation. To construct the newly added item, animated list uses the item builder, which you already defined. It is important that you not only call the animated list state method, but also actually update your underlying data. Remove item is similar. You tell animated list that the item at index is being removed. You also need to provide a builder for the widget to show while it's animating out. Once again, you are provided with an animation that you can use and the sky is the limit for what that animation looks like. And remember, it's important to remove the item from the underlying data structure. For more info on animated list and all the other widgets, head to flutter.dev.